Hi, this is John Painter for iPhone Life. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery, actually take the back part of an iPhone 2G off. And I'm just starting to take off the antenna cover here. Um, I like to use a little pen knife that I have and a very basic spudger tool. But don't forget to take out your SIM tray. Uh, many a SIM tray has been bent uh, when you forget to take this out. Uh, here we go. And uh, now this is what it looks like with the uh, antenna cover off. There are three screws. I actually broke them, <laughs> broke one of them on the uh, left side there. So there's only the screw in the center and the screw on the right. Um, you need to replace these or take these out and uh, put them back in, of course, when you're done. Now I like to take the back off. And by the way, the back almost will never come off without some kind of damage. But this is the tool that I found to work the best. It's common uh, to get uh, at uh, Radio Shack or almost any electronic store. Uh, just pop the back off a little bit. I'm going to get my spudger again and uh, further take this off. Now I have a spudger that's kind of blunted. In other words, the fine tip has come off. I've worn it off. And this is actually good because the gap here, as you can see, is pretty big around the uh, back casing and the uh, rim. And you just got to work it in there and you'll be surprised how hard uh, it is to pop it off. And this is why a lot of aluminum cases on these phones uh, get ruined. And uh, you just see right there that I, I popped a little bit of the aluminum, but you can bend aluminum back. So you just take it apart. You got to watch out for that ribbon cable. The best way to get the wires off, snip them. Uh, you can certainly desolder, but why do it if the battery's dead? Here we go, ready for the trash. So I like to take a lot of precautions when I'm soldering. Please do not do this uh, unless you feel very comfortable uh, soldering things. Uh, I have to say that it is possible for the battery to blow up and actually you'll see right there I like to use a little heat sink. Uh, I don't use it on the ground too often but uh, here we go with a white and I'll use it certainly on the positive. Um, and uh, you're gonna attach them with black, white, and red in that order. You're going to reattach your fresh battery. Now you'll notice that I put a little uh, white piece of cloth over the battery and uh, partly it's just because my hands get sweaty and I don't want to uh, get sweat all over everything. The other part of it is if the battery happens to blow up, well, I have eyeglasses on, but uh, I also want to have something between me and the battery. But uh, I just found the heat sink to uh, be just another way to, to take precaution. And uh, here we go, white's back on. Red will go on the same way. The red always, always goes on last. Uh, please don't forget that if you attempt this yourself. Um, here we go, and uh, it's that simple. So again, you're going to put the back casing on the same way you took it off, and remember to put on your three screws, though for me, because I'm a klutz, uh, I only have two screws to put, to put back on, and uh, here they go, just going back in. Doesn't take too long. And uh, of course you put the uh, cover back on, the antenna cover. It's, it's, it's not too hard to do. Uh, it will snap in there, but let me show you a little trick here. Uh, there's two little tabs there on the end that will go into a, uh, on the end there. And then just at the base of the silver backing, let me show you right here. And then again, over here, uh, you gotta remember that uh, these have to be depressed a little bit because there's a little rim on your black antenna case that fits down over top of them and then slides in underneath the backing of your case. Now remember, uh, your case is probably going to have a few dings or dents in it from where you took it apart, but that's okay because here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it powers up and ta-da! It does. And I can assure you that the iPhone uh, works once it charged up again. For iPhone Life, this is John Painter. Be safe if you try this one, but good luck.